Could this really be happening? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, bro. Let's get it over 500 likes. That's a lot of thumbs. All right, let's get right to the news. The first news item. Very interesting. This is coming from TheVerge.com. A new NVIDIA Shield TV box has shows up at FCC and so it looks like NVIDIA is coming out with a new revision of their um, NVIDIA um, Shield, their um, TV um, streaming device. Now, it's not just a streaming device, they're a gaming device. Now, the article also mentions the Nintendo Switch. Why? NVIDIA provides the processor for the Switch. And the article is saying, now this is still in the rumor phase because NVIDIA has to come out and actually confirm it. There, the article is saying that this new processor could possibly, possibly have the new um, Tegra ship that the tra Tegra ship <laughs> ain't no ship swimming in this video the Tegra chip that um, is in the new switch and they mentioned three things about this chip that it could mean this and I'm quoting this from the article they're saying that likely the die shrunk Tegra chip should mean it would be three things smaller more power efficient we already it's already confirmed that excuse me the switch light is more power efficient longer battery life and or capable of running at higher clock speeds that's the one that got my attention Higher clock speeds mean a better CPU. Now, this corroborates with, um, 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 what's that company? Digital Foundry. This corroborates with Digital Foundry's reporting that the Mariko um, system on the chip, the new um, design that's going to be in the new um, switch, the switch light, and more than likely the revised switch has higher clock speeds and i think digital foundry um they reported like around 500 um fast 500 megahertz per second faster clock speeds that could all of this is nintendo has to confirm well nintendo's never going to talk about the specs of their device they we have to discover that like digital foundry and uh, other places do the digging because nintendo just gives general terms but this could mean um, better frame rates and slightly higher resolutions in our switch games now I said this before do I think oh the games are not gonna be in 4k this is the switch pro coming fall this year no it might just be incremental um, slight upgrades for example I'm gonna talk about Wolfenstein later on in this video that has some frame rate problems this could be solved Nintendo could be sneaking this in. Nintendo only highlighted longer battery life, but they could sneak in a better processing power. Now, I think this route that Nintendo is going um, with the Switch Lite and even the um, revised Switch that will be coming out sometime this fall holiday, um, it's not going to get current Switch owners too mad. If you have a Switch right now, you're going to be, we're all playing the same games but if you um, choose to get a newer model, you could, you are going to be getting better battery life and possibly smoother frame rates for some of your games. Most of the games run good. 
Um, especially Nintendo first party games, Smash Brothers, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Splatoon is running at 60 frames per second. Mario Odyssey, 60 frames per second. Zelda could get some. Breath of the Wild could be improved. No, Zelda Breath of the Wild is beautiful. But slight games um, could be uh, improved to where if you currently have a Switch and you choose, ah, it isn't worth the 300 bucks, you're still good. We're all playing the same games. We're all still one happy Nintendo family. So. It's going to be interesting to see if this new NVIDIA Shield um, TV um, will have the new Switch, and um, the, um, the new Tegra processor, and to see how it runs. It'll give us a sign on um, the revised Switch that's rumored to be coming out any day now. Nintendo might not even announce it, bro. They might just boop, <laughs> pop up on store shelves. Um, who knows? All right. Next news item. Are you a Super Smash Brothers fan? Well, we could be getting Super um, Hero, the new DLC fighter, as early as August 4th. That's in approximately one week. One week. Bro, when we get it, I'm going to have a launch night prize tournament for sponsors, Super Smash Brothers, if you have the DLC. You have to have... The new fighter. That's the only way you can enter. We're going to make it happen. But, um, it's rumored to be August 4th. And this is coming via Game Explain, via some dude's Twitter, Push Dustin. He has discovered a Japanese advertisement that lists Hero coming to Smash on August 4th. <laughs> These leaks pop up in the craziest places. And so, all the way from Japan, it looks like August 4th could be our date for um, Hero in Smash, bruh. We ready to smash some things up, bruh. Next news item. This came out of nowhere. The three classic Doom games are now available on a, the Switch. A surprise launch and they were announced today at QuakeCon and the prices are for Doom 1 and 2 will cost $4.99 and Doom 3 will be $9.99 so you can pick up all three games for 20 bucks which is pretty cool I never was an old school Doom fan Doom on the Switch is lit though bruh I haven't played Doom on the Switch in a minute, man. I'm going to play it one night with the members slash sponsors. Hey, I get download Doom on your Switch, bro. We're going to do a death match or something. But um, there, it's available now, the three classic Doom games. Surprise, surprise launch. If you're a, fa a fan of the OG Doom games, go get it, boy. Next news item, boy. There's some Fire Emblem controversy. The voice actor for the main protagonist is about to be replaced even after the game is launched. The male voice actor, he has admitted to abuse. I guess there's something with his girlfriend. Abuse and his voice has been removed from Fire Emblem Heroes. And it looks like he's also going to be removed or replaced in Fire Emblem Three houses. That's how it is sometimes, bro. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself, bro. <laughs> That's all I got to say on that story. All right. Next news item. Just want to let you guys know, if you don't know, Wolfenstein Youngblood has launched on the Switch today, today, today. I was thinking about picking it up, but it's the same day as Fire Emblem. I'm not going to have time to play both. If I beat Fire Emblem before 2k drops and i think i have enough time to beat this game that's the only way i'm gonna get it fire emblem oh and astro gg never mind <laughs> astro chain comes out next month i ain't gonna have time i ain't gonna have time um but wolfenstein young blood is out now on the switch i'm hearing the switch version runs at a lock 30 frames per second but it dips in certain areas depending on the combat and what's going on on the screen. And this is what I'm talking about with a slight improvement 
and um, processing power, overclocking it to where the frame rates could be a little bit smoother, a little bit more consistent. Still same 30 frames, probably the same resolution, but no drops. Who knows? We'll have to see in the new revised Switch versions. All right, before I end this video, I have to let you guys know I'm giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite boy. That's right, to a lucky member, either a Twitch sub, a YouTube uh, member, you could join the join button is right below, or you could sponsor on Patreon. Um, one of those three ways you get invited to our private Discord. You join a dope gaming community tonight with the sponsors on Twitch. I'm gonna be playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Paladins, and 2K on the Switch around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's by 9 p.m. I'm usually. Um, live streaming on Twitch by that time. That's where we um, do our gaming streams now. And so, um, a lucky sponsor, September, sept around the beginning of September, I'm going to announce the giveaway for a Nintendo Switch Lite to a lucky member. Join the OGC, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. Link is in the description of this video. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about all of the information we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. Oh, thanks, Nintendo. I forgot to change my bro. I had a Dragon Quest bro, bro. The same dude with the tight shirt. Fire Emblem just came out. It's still related. We just talked about Fire Emblem, bro. Fire Emblem is that fire. It's good. It's good. So far, so good. All right, we out. Peace. Out. I said it before and I'll say it again. Your shirt is tight, bruh. Let me take off my shirt and give it to you.